Well, Logan Allen out there on the mound making his sixth start this year. Well, he's got uh, time to set everything straight. They could use a, a, a nice start. Grossman three hits in his last 39 at bats. But he draws a leadoff walk. Jonathan Scope three for eight in the series. Ground ball could be two. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Jag steps on the bag. Or uh, Clement, rather, stepping on the bag and a good buggy whip throw over to first to complete the double play. In the 2 2. Ground ball, routine play for Yu Chang. And that'll do it for the Tigers here in the first. And the pitcher for the Tigers in game two will be Willie Peralta. He's making his fourth appearance in his third start. His last timeout was on Saturday, pitching that doubleheader versus Houston, received a no decision. Caught by Jamer Candelario. One two to Ahmed Rosario. A chopper to short. Zach Short. Steady as she goes, two away. Rosario sends one to right field. As Cameron's got plenty of room, and that's a 14 pitch start for Willie Peralta. Miguel Cabrera picked up an RBI in game one on a sacrifice fly. And he starts this game off with another softly served single into right field. Well, he's swinging it well today. 2 0 pitch, bloop to right center field. Bradley Zimmer with a dynamite play. Throwing back to first, but Miguel gets back there in time to avoid being doubled off. Well, that's a dynamite jump and a great sliding catch by Zimmer. Well, he had one in game one, but he Bradley fell short and, and had a divot. But this one he's able to get to. And get a body underneath. So well, good play by Zimmer to retire Cameron. Six for 21 for Zach Short, including a home run. Here's the 2 2. There it is. And a bullet to left. Oh, right. That right. is caught by Eddie Rosario. Miguel Cabrera will score on the sacrifice fly, and Detroit has the early lead. Two away for Willie Castro. Castro down the right field line. That ball is fair. There you go. A ground rule double for Willie Castro and Eric Haas scores the Tigers second run here in the second. Hit him where they ain't. He got a little spin the ball bounced up into the stands. It's going to be a ground rule double but that plates Eric Haas. Tried to hold up but he went around. Logan Allen strikes him out but the Tigers strike for two in the second and take the early lead. So one on two out and Bradley Zimmer to the plate. Smoke deep center. Hill is back. It's over his head. It's off the wall. Takes a crazy carom. Zimmer can fly. He's off to the races. Scoring is Clement. Bradley into third. He'll hold him there. They got the relay in quickly. It's a two out RBI triple for Bradley Zimmer, who got his first extra base hit of the year in game one. And he follows that up with a big two out RBI triple here in game two. That one, I mean, hit the center field wall and it hit the corner out there. And watch it ricochet past Hill. And you're right, I started thinking about it inside the parker when I saw that one. But the hustle of Cameron coming over to get the ball in certainly kept him at, at third base. So he hit a double in game one, his first extra base hit. He gets a double here. Drives in a run and makes it a two to one game. And he does. Right there again. Strikes him out. His first punch out tonight for Willie Peralta. Cleveland does get a run. It's 2-1 the Tigers in front. That'll bring up Eric Haas who walked and scored in the second. There it is. There's a drive deep left field. That ball's gone. Eric Haas's first hit against his old team is a solo bomb to put the Tigers in front three to one. He was waiting for that pitch and you could almost sense in what he did at the plate with the three takes. He's like if you throw me a fastball I'm going to crush it and he didn't miss it. That's the difference is when you get that cookie what do you do with it and he just oh. hammered it. That's power. 442 feet away. Eric Haas's ninth homer of the season. The Tigers back in front by two and force Cleveland to their bullpen in the fourth. Popped him up. This will get him out of it. Ernie Clement calling for it. Inning over. Tigers tack one on on the homer by Haas. They lead it through to one. Facing a new tribe pitcher, it's Nick Whitgren here in the fifth. There's a ball up the middle and a backhanded play by Clement. He tried to flip it to Rosario, but 
unable to complete the play and Jonathan Scope has a leadoff single for Detroit here in the fifth. Line oh. caught. Throw back to first double play. Nicely done by Yu Chang. Yeah, it was. That sure was. That ball stayed up. And it would have been a double play any way you look at it. If he if he doesn't catch it in the air, they're going to turn it with the short hop because you see Rosario's right there. But that first base, he got a little too far off the bag. And that good throw comes back and gets it. Two away from Miguel Cabrera. You get it? Fly ball, deep right field. That ball is gone. Miguel Cabrera, the big fly, number 494 in his career. And the Tigers open up a three-run lead. Well, the big fella is heating up. It's good to see. I don't know what it is about playing in this ballpark, but progressive field is home for Miguel Cabrera. And he shows it again in game two here tonight. Gets a fastball, and we talked about how he's starting to get to those. Good for him. In steps Derek Hill. Up the ah. middle, that's a base hit. Beautiful. Haas scores, and so does Zach Short. A two run single for Derek Hill, his second and third RBIs of the year. 6 1 Tigers. 1 2. Fly ball dropping, and Harold Ramirez can't come up with it. Derek Hill scores. That'll be an RBI single from Jonathan Scope, and the Tigers extend their lead. It's now 7 1. Joe Jimenez is now being called upon to work the seventh, his 21st appearance. Popped it up. Shallow right center, it's Willie Castro who puts it away. The Tigers sweep this doubleheader from Cleveland by scoring 16 runs overall and a balanced scoring attack and a job well done.